Have you fed them recently? <laughs> Fortunately, we oh, fed them last week. Oh, thanks. Hey guys, welcome to a new Vat19 game. We have snake lover Brian Barcheck here to help us out. Our two contestants will lay in plexiglass coffins and try to answer reptile themed questions. For each wrong answer, Brian will add his slithery friends to their coffin. When the game is over, the winner gets to munch on a delicious giant gummy python, while the loser has to deal with the giant real python. This is what we call cold-blooded trivia. Round one oh. is gonna be worth one snake. Be the first to buzz in with the correct answer, and you avoid a snake. Question number one. Which snake generates noise to warn off potential predators? Eric, you have buzzed in first. The rattlesnake. Correct. Ah! Okay, so guys, first things first. We wanna make sure that the animals are completely in safety, right? So I don't want you to roll over on them, throw them, toss them, anything. And the first question I get asked all the time about snakes is do they bite? And the answer is they can. <laughs> So yes, the answer was yes. The answer is yes. <laughs> oh, that's weird. Oh, that's so weird. Oh, question number two. In the 1984 movie, The Karate Kid, what is the name of Johnny Lawrence's dojo? Snakes! Eric, do you have an answer? The Cobras? Incorrect, you get snakes. Okay. No! <laughs> no! no! Brian, this one seems no! to have a different so these are all ball yeah. pythons, but they kind of look a little different. These are, are all ball pythons from West Africa. So we selectively breed them for different colors. And I tell you, this one likes Eric a lot. Around Eric's neck wait, wait, here. Wait, 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 actually, I haven't got it wrong. Oh, I, I, oh, I, I got to oh, respond. Oh, oh, he's got to throw oh, in his, his Adam, yeah. come on. Oh, you come better on, get it right. Feel okay, all right, all right. What all right, was right, the right, name of Johnny Lawrence's dojo in the 1984 movie Karate Kid? Um, You got like five seconds to answer. You got to give me one second. Um, um. Four. Python Dojo. I'm sorry, the correct answer was Cobra Kai. Oh, Cobra oh, Kai. So close. Brian, I've got another question. The one here with its body kind of around Eric's neck there has a number 35 on it. What's that all about? Well, I'm glad you asked that. Again, we're always trying to make sure that the animals are safe. We also keep a lot of records. So these animals being in this cage, we need to make sure they go directly back into the right cage so that we have all of their records husbandry wise. And so we actually are marking the snakes so they go back in the right bag and then back into the right cage when they're back home with us. Yeah. Oh, dude, oh, dude. One just went off Adam's shirt there. Oh, Somehow, it found its Brian, way in you there. seriously are the worst. <laughs> <laughs> oh my question. god, it's licking me! Let's focus on question number three. In Greek mythology, who is the hero? What? You're buzzing in Yeah, yeah, early? he buzzed in. You buzzed <laughs> I didn't did even finish, finish the question. Uh, he didn't. I didn't finish the question. Yeah, but he buzzed in. He did buzz in, so... Said, who uh, is the hero? I was about to say Medusa, but that's probably the wrong answer. <laughs> Four snakes. So this is a beautiful animal here. This is what they call a spinner ball python, which is a double mutation. Really gorgeous. This guy here is called a pinstripe ball python. That's number two. Those are some beautiful mm -hmm. markings. <laughs> Here's another one. That's three. Oh. Okay. <laughs> now, now snakes are carnivores, guys. So have you fed them recently? <laughs> Fortunately, oh, we fed them God. last week. Oh, thanks, Eric. To only be fair, Eric. I'm gonna read you the whole Eric. question. In Greek mythology, who is the hero that slays the snake-haired monster Medusa? Brian's already got the snakes because we're pretty sure you don't know the answer to that one. <laughs> I don't. You want me to read it one more oh, time? On. Uh, the Titans. Um, I think oh. Hercules. Incorrect. Dang it. The correct answer was Perseus. That's right. Is there a reason why you're putting in all of the same species? Yeah, we don't ever really want to mix species of snakes because they carry different bacteria and all kinds of other things. That oh, we can do. Listen, these are captive born animals. They were never in the wild and, and chances are they'd be fine, but we don't want to take any risk. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. Eric is, uh, is starting to shake. Can I answer the question? I think you'll be fine, Eric. Oh my God. I hope you guys for this next question are Harry Potter fans. Oh, Here we no. go. In Harry Potter, which Hogwarts house has a serpent? Slytherin. Correct! Yes. You get no snakes. Right, Five so, snakes on Eric. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys a couple really cool ones. Check oh, this one out oh, right yeah. here. Right. This, this is really nice, right? These are a couple just normal ball oh, pythons God. here, but this one, 
and this is what they call a leucistic ball python. It's not an albino because it still has dark eyes, but it's lacking all the other pigments. And then of course this would be the albino, which is more orange, and it has the orange eyes. Oh. Right. Oh, oh, oh yeah, I can oh, see it's, oh, it's, it's red oh, eyes. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, Eric, you are doing phenomenal. Oh, um, thanks, guys. Question number five. Oh. By weight, what is the largest species of snake in the world? <laughs> Eric. I'm... Python. Say that again. Python. Python? Was that your answer? No, anaconda. I said anaconda. No, you did not say anaconda. anaconda. I do believe. What you, I what do was, believe. Can we I'm get some? First. First. I do believe I'm most in first. <laughs> I, know, I can't tell what he said. Anaconda. We're, we're, gonna, we're anaconda. gonna accept Anaconda. He buzzed in first. So Adam, I'm sorry you get uh, seven snakes. I buzzed snakes. in first. And, and I think that he buzzed in first. Now I want to really make sure that everyone understands that these snakes aren't being harmed. There's nothing gonna happen to them. Adam and Eric are going through a lot more stress than these guys are. So stressed oh, out. That one's hissing. You know, anacondas are the girthiest and heaviest bodied snake, but the reticulated python is actually the largest oh. snake. But you can have an anaconda that can be upwards of 300 pounds, believe it or not. I can feel all their tongues touching me. Eric, okay. can you have hyper lips on right now? Because that's what it sounds like. I'm trying not to bite the snake. All right, final questions, guys. Eric's got two points. Adam has one point, so to force a tiebreaker, I need to get this one correct, Adam. Which book in the Bible features a talking snake? Genesis? <laughs> correct! <laughs> Eric is our winner! Adam gets all of the remaining snakes. I believe there's about was, 10 more. Was, Eric, how does it feel? I'm glad I was born in the Bible Belt, Jamie. <laughs> yeah. mm. Oh my gosh. That's that's a lot of snakes. Ah, oh, there you go. You're doing good. I hate to say it, but there was definitely more than 10 snakes in here. Oh, great. Oh, thanks. Oh, my gosh. Thanks, Brian. Oh, thanks, my gosh. Brian. Brian, you're the best. You really are. You're so great. You're yeah. so great. Count there's a couple sneak. strong suit. There's, oh, there's a couple oh, sneaking oh, thanks, out buddy. the back. Okay, thanks, buddy. Um, hey, guys. Well, losing my glasses. Do I get out? Eric, oh, as the winner, oh we'll get to uh, eat the giant gummy python from Bat 19, while Adam will get the giant 16-foot-long reticulated python, I this was Lucy. Happen. So while Eric Munches on this snake. We've got Lucy is what a 16 foot long python. She's a 16 foot. Now this is the species of python that is the longest species of python in the entire world. Sometimes exceeding 22 or 23 feet in length. But let me tell you, a lot of people think that these snakes are killers. They're not. Adam, I would never put your life that much in jeopardy. <laughs> Okay, you can help me with the tail end. 120 here. pounds of pure muscle. It's like a, a hug from a, a, a smaller Joey. I was gonna say like a, a couple of Joeys, right? Hang on oh, to that Adam's head. Getting Hang real on angry. To that front side for oh, me. it wants out. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, yep, there you go. Do you want me to hold his head? Well, not hold it, just gotta keep hold it. In there. Oh, okay, okay I got go. it. Yep. Yep, there you go. There's, oh my god. There's, oh. there's gotta be another 10 feet oh, coming no. in, Adam. There's some, there's about oh. another 10 feet left, okay? Oh, oh, there we go. Oh, Lucy. Lucy, did you? Come on, girl. Oh. Adam, I'll give you a bite if you give it a kiss. Can you? Eric. Oh, she's hissing. Eric, she's hissing. Oh, oh boy. Yeah. Oh, I can oh see my gosh. Teeth. Get it up there. Kiss. Yeah. Kiss has been made. <laughs> it's, it's, just, a good, it's a good. It's, it's a good. Night, it, oh, yeah. It's a good night. It's a good night hiss. Oh yeah. Oh, good night hiss is complete. Now that's a good Tinder date. Oh, Eric, help me. I'm right here with you, buddy. Oh. Hey, buddy. Oh. Jamie, I think we got the shot. Jamie, I think we're good. We can cut this video now. <laughs> okay. Folks, thanks for joining us. That was Cold Blooded Trivia. That was Brian Barczak. We'll see you next time. Bat19.com And the first question I get asked all the time about snakes is do they bite? And the answer is they can. Oh, oh it's biting. Oh, Oh, it was here. Oh, oh my God, that was scary. <laughs> I want to give a big thank you to Brian for providing and handling the animals today. Go check out his channel, Animal Bites TV, as well as his daily vlog, at Brian Barcheck to see more amazing animals. And I did a video here at VAT19 teaching Jamie more about these amazing reptiles. So subscribe to VAT19 and Brian's channel so you never miss another crazy stunt.